Structs are complex data types, meaning that they're made up of multiple values. You then create an instance of the struct and fill in its values. Then you can pass it around like a single value in your code. For example, we could define a person struct that contains two properties, two local variables, clothes and shoes. I'll say struct person var clothes, some sort of string, then shoes, another string, and end the struct. When you define a struct, Swift makes them very easy to create because it automatically generates what's called a memberwise initializer. In plain speak, this means you create the struct by passing in initial values for its two properties, like this. Let Taylor equals a new person with clothes, she has t-shirts, and shoes, she has sneakers. And we'll do other equals another person with clothes being short skirts, and shoes being high heels. Once you've made an instance of a struct, you can read its properties just by writing the name of the struct, a period or full stop, then the property you want to read. For example, print tailor.clothes or print other.shoes. If you assign one struct to another, Swift copies it behind the scenes so it's a complete standalone duplicate of the original. To help you see how struct copies work, let's try this in the playground. We're going to say var Taylor copy equals Taylor. Taylor copy dot shoes equals flip flops. And we'll do print Taylor and print Taylor copy. That creates the two person structs we had before, then a third one called Taylor copy as a copy of Taylor. What happens next is the interesting part. The code changes Taylor copy and prints both it and Taylor. If you look in the results pane on the right, you have to resize the fit if you want to. You can see the copy has a different value to the original. Changing one did not change the other. You can place functions inside structs, and in fact, it's a good idea to do so for all functions that read or change data inside the struct. For example, we could add a function to our person struct to describe what they're wearing, like this. We have var clothes string, var shoe string, and then func describe. We're gonna say print, I like wearing, string interpolation, clothes, with string interpolation, shoes. There's one more thing you ought to know, but you can't see in that code. When you write a function inside a struct, it's called a method instead. In Swift, you write func whether it's a function or a method, but the distinction's preserved when you talk about them.